Hey guys, so we have a Season 13 Cup game for the round of 32. Um, unfortunately, we're coming in a little bit late here, but it looks like we are still on turn 1, so not too late. Let me go ahead and post the stream link there. Okay. So we just saw an assassinate. Um, this is a military air attack. Ooh, wow, the Scorpion player is down to four honor. Um, looks like there was a From the Shadows to play this Aramoro. Uh, and then he played a Bonsai and Assassinate. Um, he also had a Manipulator. That's another honor. So let's see, three... F oh, the Bonsai got discarded. Three, four, undefended, that's five. Yeah, that's it, because he only starts at nine honor. Uh, gains two back from that airing, though, so going to be at six now. So, Attendant to the Emperor, um, they printed this one, and then they printed a crab card, the Siege Commander, uh, both of which are just vanilla cards with big stats. Vanilla meaning they don't have an ability. <coughs> this one's a 1-5, one the other one's a 5-1. One. Um, I mean, Courtier is pretty good. And five political for three is definitely good, so I guess I can see this one being okay. Um, I didn't really think scorpions would run it, though. And crab have definitely not been running the 5-1. But it doesn't really have relevant traits, so... Um, we see Aramoro with three fate, Kaede with three fate... That's interesting. Oh wow, this Phoenix deck is pretty wild. Looks like he's on Lion Splash, running Charge Bird. No Tadaka, since he's restricted. And then, of course, we have Kyuden Bayushi for the Scorpion. Running Crane Splash. So, both of these decks, I would say, are unusual. So Scorpion is first player. Um, I think Phoenix is definitely not going to want this Kaede to be in a military conflict with Aramoro because of the possibility of him just killing her if he has a way to dishonor, like a way of the Scorpion. Wait, is he not running way of the Scorpion? Uh, wow, I just looked at the deck list and there's no way the Scorpion in this Scorpion deck, it looks like. He does have two court games and three... F okay, he has two Mark of Shame and three Fiery Madness. So I guess that's the reason. Uh, still, no way the Scorpion seems a little bit odd. Like that card is just good.
Okay, we have Infiltrator's Tools on Aramoro. It's going to give him Covert. Um, although, like I was saying earlier, I think he wants the Kayade to defend if he's going military. Especially since her ability is only while she's attacking. So I think if he Coverts here, he's going to Covert the Solemn Scholar. Um, that would just force, yeah, force either Kaede to defend or nobody to defend. Uh, I'm going to find Fertile Fields. Okay, it looks like Shameful Display is in the row. And then Rally to the Cause is under the Stronghold. Uh, we see a Cloud the Mind, okay. Seems good. The only attachment hate he has is one collector and three three calling in favors. <coughs> calling in favors is like not even great here either because uh, your liar loses sincerity and then it turns off forged edict unless you play soul beyond reproach next. If he couldn't kill the Kaede though, then this is probably fine. Although it means he's not going to be able to dishonor Aramoro. Unless he fire rings himself, but that would be bad. Like, you could do that, but... I would imagine that you're going to dishonor the Kaede if you get the fire ring. Like, that just seems better. Or honor yourself, okay, that works too. Okay, we see a From the Shadows to bring in a Sadako here. That's really strong with the uh, with the Stronghold. Uh, Mechmage attempts to assassinate, but there's a Forged Edict. Shrine Maiden gets played into the conflict, finds my ancestor's strength. Um, not really a whole lot you can do with that here. It would be plus two, I guess, which is enough. To win the conflict, potentially. If he doesn't have any other cards to play. Um, Supernatural Storm, that works as well. And that's better even because you can stronghold that now. Ooh, we see Warm Welcome to play Bonsai. That is a one times Warm, warm Welcome, so... Won't be seeing any more of those. So, 8 on defense now. Phoenix would need to play another Storm from hand and then use the Stronghold. Or, let's see, can't charge, nope, just see a pass.
So the stronghold gets used. Um, what are you going to attack now? We've already seen one display of power. Attacking here actually seems kind of awkward. Uh, you definitely want to leave a character to defend, I think. So it's just going to be Sadako going air. That seems fine. Like, if he if he displays this, then he's only taking one honor from you, which is, like, not a big deal. Oh, we have 50 bits from Luke taking the top, uh, top bit spot. Thank you very much. So he has five skill here. So it looks like this is going to be a break, which is always nice. And he gets to take an honor as well. So we do see an against the waves to ready Kaede. So we will be seeing an attack here. Um, there's a finger of jade as well. So you basically have to attack water here because void is pointless. But like on the other hand, water isn't really going to do anything either. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Um, it does let you play Ningyos, though. And playing just the first Ningyo means that you're now immune to court games. Um, if he had the court games, he should have probably played that as the first action, so he could hit Kaede with it. Oh wow, so we saw another Ningyo, he's really trying to get this break. There was a mark of shame on Kaede to just dishonor once, which is definitely not ideal. And then he just played a court games to honor her again, so a little bit unfortunate there. So he's still getting the break now. And we do see a pass. Um... The only reason I can see that break really being important is that you want to play Shoju next turn. Like, I don't think it's really a big deal, it was just Manicured Garden. Uh, we see Embrace the Void on Armoro. Embrace the Void on Kaede. So that's going to be some extra fate there. Scorpion is going to go down to 4 honor again, so honor totals going to be pretty low here. Ooh, wow. Okay, we see a calling in favors to take the Embrace the Void from Kaede. So that's interest interesting because it means that um, it basically cancels out both of these Embrace the Voids, so it's like trading one card for two, which is always good. Wait, no, he shouldn't have done that. Hmm, maybe he doesn't know the ruling on that. That was a mistake, though. Should have just passed on the Embrace the Void. So the way it works, if anyone doesn't know, is if both players have an Embrace the Void on the same character, uh, whichever one gets triggered last is the one that gets to take the fate. 
so if either player triggers theirs first, then the other player gets the fate. So the correct move is to just pass and nobody gets it. I feel like I kind of like Actress because it can pull Scholar if you're getting the Earth Ring or Itsuki if you're getting the Water Ring. And she gets you an honor back, which is nice. Um, why are one fate... Okay, so we're going to have to watch out for the charged Tsukune here. Phoenix is going to take the passing fate. We see Court Novus get played. We see a 5 to 1 bid and a duty come out here. Uh, that's going to even up the hand sizes. So Dreamer gets used on the Earth Ring. Um, it looks like he knows all of the provinces now. He attacked Upholding Authority at one point, so he's going to go into Pilgrimage. Um, I mean, I feel like this... I think Phoenix should have probably bid two there. Yeah, so he had, what, 5 honor to 4? Yeah, 2 was probably the correct bid. Because then, um, if Scorpion bids 5, he only goes down to 1 honor, can't play duty. Uh, we see my ancestor's strength. That's pretty strong since the base stats are only 1-1. One, one. So it's going to be a 3-4 and then still get the plus 2. Um, I was thinking that this attack suggested a charge. And he could still have the charge, but I feel like he would have... Well, maybe he's afraid of a cancel, so he just played that f the Ancestor's Strength first. You knew he had that in his hand, so not defending here... Wonder what he has. Okay. Uh, sure, that's one, one skill. He could play calling in favors to get the dishonor. But the only thing to steal is a finger of jade. Finds a Benton's touch off of that. Okay, Peasant's Advice. 
So he's actually running three Peasant's Advice in this deck, um, and that is going to see Shameful Display and shuffle that storehouse back in. Uh, probably a mistake, actually, not to use the storehouse. Oh, wait, was it face down? I think it was face down. I can't remember now. I'm pretty sure it was face down. In which case, I'm not really sure why he chose to shuffle. But... Oh well. Yeah, so we are going to see the charge now. Let's see if there's a cancel saved for this. Nope. So that's pretty strong. I mean, I guess you can just let Pilgrimage break here. Like, if you really didn't want it to break, then you could have just defended with more. Okay, f favorable ground to move home. Ooh, discards his third Sadako at random there. So I think now you're going to attack fire. You could go fire with Aramoro and let's see, the last two provinces are Shameful and Upholding Authority. So you could go at Shameful and Covert Kaede. Seems fine. Okay, he's going air, but I think everything else is what I said. We see another charge on Kudaka this time. Ooh, but he is going to force you to that. Interesting. So he could have actually canceled the charge on Tsukune but decided not to. It's probably better this way though, because now when he attacks Shameful, like, being able to charge Sukune on the Shameful defense would be way worse.
so yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, doesn't have the third charge. Airing takes one honor, so he's down to three honor now. Which is a little bit scary. Um, especially since Scorpion is going to have another attack this turn. We're going to see Kaede go for the watering though, that will let him stand Sukune back up. And he does have Rally under the Stronghold, so uh, Scorpion should definitely... Oh, he's attacking upholding Authority though, so that's interesting. If Scorpion defends this now, then he doesn't get a province effect. But, oh, no, switching to Secret Cache, maybe. Yeah, so if he breaks up holding Authority, um, and he has any Against the Waves in his hand, those are just going to get discarded. But Secret Cache does let Scorpion get another card here. And yeah, he is going to defend with the Liar. Court Games to honor Kaede. Ooh, and Mark of Shame. That is unfortunate. So maybe that court games was not the best idea. Yeah, counting on him not having it, definitely. Hey, as to run, as to run. Hopefully I got it right in the second time. Um, ooh, he pulled it off Secret Cache, yeah. That's definitely a reason not to go at Secret Cache. Yeah, like, I, I feel like he should have just attacked up holding authority. Um, but, I don't know, he might have, like, the other two against the waves in his hand. So. Oh, he could have fingered Covert. Yeah, that's a good point. He should have actually done that. I mean, as long as he has against the waves, he can defend. Possibly even if he doesn't. Yeah, plays against the waves from discard to ready the dreamer, so now I'll be able to defend no matter what. Well, actually, maybe not. Because he doesn't get the watering. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, calling in favors takes the finger of Jade. That's going to dishonor 
Aramoro. So, it's, I mean, it's not necessarily over yet. Mech Mage needs to have, like, a conflict character or something. Because he's going to get to ready Aramoro now. And then Covert. Which, even if he doesn't break... Okay, we do see an Against the Waves to ready Kayade. So, yeah, that's probably why he didn't want to attack the Upholding Authority. Uh, the problem now, though, is that he can just break, right? Like, this is a lot. I was going to say you could actually just Covert Kayade because she has zero skill in both, but yeah, that might have been better actually because of the Ancestor's strength now. Uh, Soul Beyond Approach though, so it's not going to matter. Yep, that's just going to be the Stronghold Break there. Um, interesting that he went Void. I guess it had a Fate on it, so yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you definitely should not not take the gamble on not having duty. Like, that's just never a gamble you want to take, right? You should just bid two there. Because if you bid two, then, like, worst case, he bids one, and then you just lose an honor, um, which didn't really matter too much. And then best case is he bids five, and then he's down to one. But yeah, that's going to be it. So Gyro will advance to the top 16. Um, we'll have to wait and see who his opponent's going to be. Not a whole lot of games have been played yet, but it looks like Phoenix is doing pretty well. Multiple Phoenix players made it to the round of 32 already. But yeah, that's going to do it for this game. So thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.